Okay, so this video is going to cover how to properly insert a regular visit into the HCNet system. So once again, once you log into HCNet, you'll get taken to a home screen similar to this. Uh, yours will look a little different, uh, but what you're going to do is come up here to Visits, click on Visits, and then on that drop-down menu, you'll select Visits here. And then let's say uh, this is our patient. Uh, we had already pulled that up. Now, if your patient wasn't initially up there, you could type your last your patient's last name in here and search them. But let's go ahead and go back here and just say that this is our patient with the last name of Dixon. So if it's your first time seeing this patient, you're going to have to do actual visit insert new note. Uh, but if you've seen this patient before, say you've done the evaluation or you've already entered a regular visit, you can go ahead and select this tab here, which is actual vi visit build from last. Now, since this uh, isn't a real patient, I'm getting this message here. Uh, but basically, if you've already seen this patient and written a note, whether that be an evaluation or a regular note, you will not get this message. And what you're actually going to find is that uh, the note will have been auto-populated for you. So anything that you entered the, during the previous note will be carried over to this note. Uh, once again, you will have to put in the proper date here. And then you also will have to enter uh, the time that you saw the person. So let's go ahead and say we saw them from that time to that time, and then it's already coded as a regular visit, which is what we want now. We'll go ahead and select no VAC applied since we did not work with the wound VAC. Once again, we'll skip over the status section. Uh, we'll go ahead and type in here temp not taken since we didn't take the patient's temperature. And then obviously you'll have to put in your vitals once again. So you'll have to put in SpO2 your pulse, your respiration rate, and then also a blood pressure. And then you'll scroll down here. We'll leave this no supplies used section just the way it is. We'll continue to scroll down uh, to this medical necessity and homebound review. And once again, you have these three phrases here. So you'll need to put why the patient is still homebound, the patient diagnosis. Once again, that needs to be exactly the same as it is in your form and app. And then you'll just put your uh, SOAP note here. Uh, once again, it depends on how you do things. I personally have a template for regular visits and kind of the exercises or things I'm doing with the patient, and I kind of copy and paste that over into this section. But you'll just need to fill this out uh, in regards to what you did with the patient, and then you'll scroll back up, and you'll hit Insert Visit From. Then once again, I'm getting this message, but you should uh, get that this visit. You should get a message saying this visit was successfully inserted and then you'll go to your assessment portion. So if you're building uh, from your old visit, uh, you'll get kind of this auto-populated here as far as the check marks, uh, the things you did last time. So you'll need to change these accordingly if anything changed between the last visit and now. But as you can see, these are already selected for you. So like I said, you'll just change those as you deem necessary, especially like pain or uh, you know, if they if they did anything different as far as assistive devices or needed uh, a different amount of assistance uh, from you that day. Once again, these boxes may be a little different, whether you be a speech therapist or an occupational therapist, but you will have to select at least one checkbox in each of those. And then the baseline and the re-evaluation section uh, won't apply to you since this is a regular visit. And then you'll just come down here and say whether or not the order was addressed this uh, visit and if they met the goal, did not meet the goal. And you'll just kind of check the appropriate box. So as you can see, these are being carried over from the last visit. So you'll just change accordingly. And then you'll hit note. Make sure you can uh, double check by clicking on the different tabs to make sure everything's filled out to your liking. And then all you'll have to do is come back to note is complete. Scroll back up. This tab should say update visit now. You'll go ahead and click that. And then it should say that this visit was successfully updated. If there's anything, whether it be a checkbox is not filled out appropriately or you left something blank, it'll notify you and tell you uh, kind of in these red letters here what still needs to be completed. Uh, but that is how you insert a regular visit onto HCNet.